Hi everybody, it's Faith from Fairy Santera. Hope everyone is well. If you're new to our little channel, welcome. If you're returning, welcome back. We're here to throw down some cards for Sagittarius this evening. Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus for the first half of June. If it resonates with you? Cool. It's your free will to do whatever you choose to do with the message given to you by the cards if you choose to do anything at all. It is your journey, not mine. I just read the cards. If it doesn't resonate, that's okay. It's general reading. It's not going to resonate with every Sagittarius. If you feel so compelled or inclined and would like to, check your moon rising or Venus sign readings. Maybe you'll find something that resonates a little bit better. Or I am available for personal readings. The link for that is in both the description of this video and in the about section of the channel. Shoot us an email. We'll talk. Why not? Also, keep in mind, time and energy are both fluid and all things can, and maybe vice versa, may play out from the perspective of the cross-watcher, and cross-watchers are welcome here, too. Come on in, have a seat. Throw down some cards and have a good time. Okay. Sagittarius, why are you here? Queen of Pentacles reversed. Could be an Earth sign. Either you're feeling a little bit needy and codependent, or you're dealing with someone that is a little needy and codependent. Relative comparity? Okay. I know, Sagittarius, everybody seems a little bit needy and codependent to you because that is something that we just aren't. I totally get it. And if we are, we never admit to it. And we do it by complete accident. What do you, how do you feel about the person you're dealing with? Five of Wands reversed. Maybe you feel like you're being a little anti-confrontational. Or <clears throat> maybe you're coming out of conflict with this person. What do you think of them? The Wheel of Fortune in the Upright. Hmm. Okay. We come back around, perhaps. Might be a fixed sign you're dealing with. Maybe you feel like they're closing out a chapter, in, or you think they're closing out a chapter in their lives. What you want from them? Nine of Pentacles. You want them to be independent. You want them to be able to stand on their own. That's pretty self-explanatory. Uh, how do they feel about you? Ten of Swords in the reverse. They feel like painful cycle has not come to an end for you, Sagittarius. They feel like the sun is not shining in your life. What do they think of you? Nine of Cups reversed. It can indicate addiction issues. Filling your cups with the wrong things. A little too much partying. Masking your pain, yada, 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 all that not-so-happy jazz. It can also just be an indicator of a lack of emotional fulfillment. Long story short, Sagittarius, the person you're dealing with, kind of thinks and feels like you're a sad sack. Just being blunt. Uh, woe is me kind of thing. I'm beginning to think that possibly you're the one who's being a little bit codependent. Ugh. What do they want from you? <laughs> the world in the reverse. They want a cycle to come back around. Possibly they want to fix it. Okay. What's the conflict? The Page of Pentacles. The conflict is making the offer. 
someone extending the olive branch without the other person jerking out of their hand and slapping you in the face with it. Okay. What needs to be done with the magician? Somebody needs to manifest this. I.e. somebody needs to get up off their butt. Just putting that out there. Pardon me while I take another sip of coffee. I warned everybody it was going to be a coffee filled couple of days. Okay. Set this over here. Get a little clarity. <laughs> you know what? I'm going to do something I don't normally do. I haven't clarified with this guy in a while. I used this one for the personal I did last night. It has, hasn't really been out of the box in a minute, so why not? Universe, Source, and Spirit, can I get some clarity on the cards on the table for Sagittarius? The first half of June, please. Thank you, Source and Spirit. Why is the Five of Wands a rooster? Six of Cups. Y'all go back a long way. Apparently. And this could be someone you knew from childhood. You feel like they're just trying to avoid confrontation with you. They're trying to hang on. Y'all go back a long way. Maybe they don't want a toilet of friendship. Or a relationship. They don't want to fight with you. Why is the Wheel of Fortune here? The tower reversed. It's a comeback around. It's a rebuilding of the tower. You think they want to rebuild the tower? You think they want to come back around? Maybe they want to come back to close the cycle out. Because something didn't come to an end. At least in their eyes. That's how they feel about you. Something didn't end. Why is the Nine of Pentacles here? King of Cups reversed. You want them to emotionally close off. You want them to become emotionally independent from this. You want them to separate themselves. That makes no sense whatsoever because... Oh, I get it now. You're doing that thing you do again. It's the Sagittarius switch. We have this amazing ability, and I'll be damned because I do it all the time myself. This amazing ability to just shut it off. That's what you want for them. This isn't going to work. It's not going to happen. I can't do this. I need you to just walk away. I don't think they want to walk away. Why is the Ten of Swords reversed here?
The Knight of Swords reversed and Justice reversed. They feel like a painful cycle hasn't ended. They feel like you've cut them off. They feel like it's not fair. Maybe what you're doing isn't fair. You're not allowing this to close out. You're just flipping the switch. Pretend it didn't happen. We do it. Oh, God, we do it. And it's the most toxic Sagittarian trait there is. I'm getting chills just thinking about it because I know I personally do it all the time. I try not to. It is something, probably the most difficult aspect of myself personally, that I still have issues trying to transcend. I will walk away from the problem and not deal with it. Why is the Nine of Cups reversed here? Knight of Pentacles. They think you're sad, you're depressed, you want to say it, but you won't. Or you're going to take your time saying it. Can I get one more on that? There's an apology on your tongue, and it just won't come out your mouth. I'm not saying you're the one who has something to apologize for. All things can be vice versa. But they think there's something that you're not saying. You're suppressing. You're masking your emotions, possibly drowning them in a little bit too much sauce. Are you going to thank you? Eight of Wands. You want to communicate. You're suppressing. You want to say it, but you won't. Why is the world reversed here? reversed. They don't want to close this out. Three of Cups. They want to reunite. They want closure. They want cordial. They at the very least want it to end. Even if it doesn't end up in a blessed union and all lovey-dovey, ooey-gooey, Hallmark freaking movie of the week jazz, they at least want to come to a place where y'all can be friends again. I still don't... Who the hell is being codependent? Am I missing the meaning? Maybe it means high maintenance. I don't know. Why is the Page of Pentacles here for the blockage? Why do I feel like I'm beating a dead horse? Ten of swords in the upright. The blockage is someone extending the damn olive branch to close this out. So what needs to be done? The magician. Somebody needs to get up off their ass. Why is the magician here? Ten of Pentacles. Mm. 
somebody needs to manifest to the happy ending. What the hell is happening on my table? One more. Cups reversed. Super weird. Sagittarius, I think all they really want to do is pull the swords out of your bag. I don't think they're trying to be codependent. You may see it as that because, you know, they're trying to rebuild the tower. They're trying to close things out. You just want them to walk away and they won't. I think they genuinely care about you. I really do. Don't ever ask someone to stop caring. All right, let's get your advice. Ten of Wands and Two of Cups. I'm not blowing smoke up your ass. You need to release the burdens. Get whatever you got to get off your chest, off your chest. And allow this soulmate connection, which I firmly believe this is what this is. I see I see a lot of soulmate cards right here. The Hierophant's soulmate card. Six of Cups is a soulmate card. You have to let this connection do what it's going to do. The sun and the king of cups reversed. Do not do that thing you do and emotionally close yourself off to it. You have to allow the connection to do what it is supposed to do. You have to allow the sun to shine again. And the only way the sun's going to shine again is to get the damn swords out of your back. You have to let it close. You can't just leave it hanging out there like it didn't happen. That's the mistake you make every time. Do you know how I know you make it? Because I made it a thousand times myself and you're not going to bullshit me. I'm calling you out, Saggy. I'm calling you out. I'm sorry. Four of Cups reversed and the Wheel of Fortune reversed. The more you ignore the olive branch, the slower this is going to go. Because they're not leaving it alone. Eight of Pentacles reversed and the Magician. The more you fight this, the longer it's going to take. The harder they're going to push, the harder they're going to pull the strings. If you don't work on this, it's not going to end. I think you're dealing with a manifester. I really do. Have you bumped into this person quite a few times? Even if you're not talking to them, have you just bumped into them randomly? Maybe it's because they constantly know where you are. I don't know. This feels very Knight of Swordsy. Very Knight of Swordsy. You're bumping into them all the time. They constantly know where you are. <coughs> Maybe they're blowing up your phone. Blowing up your inboxes. They're just going to keep pushing. Let them have their closure. Because this isn't going to end until you do. And who knows? Maybe the sun will start shining in both your lives again. Alright. I'm not going to beat this dead horse anymore tonight, Sagittarius. This is your first half of June. If you want to know more, send us an email. We'll do a personal read, or we can just talk about it. You know, I'm open to that too, and I typically don't charge for advice because that would be just horribly shitty of me. 
Uh, like, share, and subscribe if you haven't already. If you feel so compelled, I'm not going to twist your arm. It's your journey, not mine. I love you guys. My soul brothers and sisters. Thanks for stopping by. I will see you Friday for the weekend top and bottom. Peace.